Right then, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the Maserati. Two of these in at the sale at the moment. There might be more by the time we get there, but at the moment we've got two. Uh, the main difference being this one uh, is four door, and the one that Jack's just put over there is two door. So uh, that's the main difference. I'm sure there's gonna be other differences, but that's the main one that anyone can spot. I think these are fantastic value for money. They're a hell of a machine. And underneath the bonnet there, I've just done the video of the, um, just done the video on the two door. Uh, and they are a work of art under the bonnet there. Uh, and I'm just chatting with one of our collectors here and, and he said um, he knows quite a few people with them who love them to bits, think they're absolutely great. And I'm sure you do, I'm sure you do. They certainly strike me as being very, very good value for money. 71,000 miles, we've got more paperwork than you can wave a stick at, which I will come to shortly. But this is a nice place to be. Cabin's lovely and airy and bright and clean and smart. So that's nice. Oh, look, we've even got the original phone in there. Look at that, how nice is that? Isn't that great? Right, uh, so, door shut. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into my usual sequence and we'll do underneath the bonnet first which is all there. Lovely piece of kit in there. And then we'll go back into the cabin area. So door cards, door shuts, all good. Nice on the carpets. Very, very minimal wear on the seat. Just a little bit of coloring. Wouldn't go amiss on there. And your armrest, where obviously you've got your elbow all the time. Other than that, nice place to be door cards on the back rear seats nice emblems on the headrests center control area there which is lovely nice little touch we'll shut that and shut that maserati pack there obviously a soft car cover there for you which is nice that i'll leave that in the boot And again, the near side, just to repeat of the offside, really, guys. And then the outside of the car, like the other one, look, lovely clean brakes. They're not very old, are they? Brakes and wheels, which make a car, don't they? They're nice, dead straight down the sides. Again, lovely and clean on the brakes there, look. They're a picture, aren't they? Nice round the front. No scuffs on the bumper corners. All there. They do look a million dollars, don't they? Nice and clean, straight down the sides. No drama to report on the body there, guys. Looks lovely. Obviously supplied by JCT 600. Before I sign off, I'll just show you this. I just laid it out on the bonnet of this E-Type, only because the E-Type's a project. But there we are, so we've got a folder. We've got a hardback folder. There's loads of stuff, look. Enthusiast owned, obviously. All your invoices and bits and pieces there, but loads of stuff. There's a good evening's worth of reading there. A second key there in your folder. Then we've got the leather wallet with your books. The main book I pulled out, we've got JCT here stickers there stamps sorry stamps for your servicing which goes on to the next page as well last one jct look brooklyn's at 64,000 miles so that's all there for you i'm going to bag that up and send that down to the girls in the main office but there you are a really straight car guys nice looking car fantastic value for money and here with us at pickering the main viewing period is that week leading up to the sale i always say that for two reasons really, A, most of the cars, 95% of the cars are static then, they're on display, we haven't got to keep moving stuff around, we've got more time and we can open things up, go through things with you. Leading up to the sale, we're as busy as bees, aren't we? We're in and out, up and down and we just don't have five minutes spare. But anyway, it's here in good time, come down, have a look and see what you think.